Hello and welcome to this tutorial on creating a spring, which will we will create a helix and then we will use the swept boss um, to create that um, f um, spring. Um, so whenever thinking about a sweep, we need two things. We need a path and a profile. So the path for our spring is going to be the helix and our profile of the spring will be a circle. So let's get into it. So on our top plane, we're going to create a circle because that's what the helix needs. So we'll make it 10. The origin is right there on the center. Again, F fits the screen. And we'll finish that sketch. Now with the sketch highlighted, we will go up to features and curves and we'll go to the helix. So the helix allows us to do that, create a helix. Um, so like any screw, um, which has a, a pitch, um, springs also have a pitch and you can either, so you need to choose two out of the three um, features of a, a helix in order to, to define it. So you can either have pitch and revolution. So pitch is the distance between the two. You can have height and revolutions. So revolutions is the number of rotations that the whole thing is going or height and pitch. So height is the overall height. So to me, height and pitch um, make the most sense. So our pitch is, again, how, how tightly wound um, our, our helix is. So we'll, we'll make our pitch one. So we'll get a lot of them in there. And then we'll, we'll make the height um, 15 because it's just a number. Um, the start angle, I would recommend you either start it at 0 or 90 or one of the cardinal 0, 90, 180, or 270 just so that if you look at your planes, you're actually starting on one of those planes with your with your um, helix that just makes that starting that um, profile a lot easier. So that looks pretty good. Again, you can change those to kind of whatever you'd like. So now you can see we have our helix there. So now the last thing we need to do is we need to ch um, select the correct plane. So this right plane goes right through that point. So we'll sketch on on that right plane. And then we'll go normal too. And then we'll just draw a circle. We'll make that circle 0.5 millimeters diameter and then we will control select both that endpoint and the um, center we'll control select the center of the circle and that helix and we'll pierce it so select that whole helix and the center of the circle together and then it's called piercing so when you're doing a sweep that you want a path piercing your profile. Um, so there's lots of P's there for alliteration. So that's good because we're fully defined then. So now we have our profile of our circle and our path. And then we can come here and do our sweet swept boss. So it's already got our profile as sketch two. And we come to our feature tree and select our helix and there you have it you can hide that helix if you don't want that blue line in there so that's how you create a swept uh, boss to create that spring so if you're going to create a screw if you want to create a threads on a screw instead of using the uh, swept boss you use a swept cut and instead of a circle um, the the profile of 
a, a typical thread is like a trapezoid. So your profile will just be a trapezoid. So there's your swept boss. Thank you.